Hi everyone, Trisha here. Thanks for joining me at smithscraftycreations.com. I'm just coming on because I've been playing around with um, the Two Away Old Rose Sab Set, which is one of my new ones. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. We have one, two, three stage, um, two to three stage stamp in here with the rose. Uh, the same again with the leaf here. Um, you could do lots and the sentiments on this are beautiful so I'm going to make a couple of cards with this it's a photopolymer so it's been really easy um, to stamp with this with it being see-through so if I pop that to the side now I just I'm going to make two cards and one is based on lovely lipstick and one is based on a be, 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 mango melody so what I done was I stamped these on with the white using my Memento Black Ink. Um, I then coloured the first rose with the light and dark combo pack of the Mango Melody and the same with the pink one uh, and the lovely lipstick. Um, I added a little bit of crumb cake light to this one. I don't know if you can see that very well. Maybe you should put more light on. There we go, that's better. So you could just see little glimmers of the um, crumb cake in there as well but it was fine with just the, the, the yellow and then for the leaf areas I've used um, light and dark um, shaded spruce now I bought these mainly for Christmas projects coming up but it's a fabulous little um, combo for doing your leaves you can see how you see all the shading in that really easy to do um, however, I'm I'm do I've already done the hard work already. So if I put my markers, um, stamping blends away. So let's make the yellow card first. So what I want to do is I've got a piece of basic black card stock, okay, and I have two inserts for this because I want to stamp on the inside of the card as well. Okay, so if I pop them to the side the now. Um, my layer is going to be the Mango Melody cardstock, and then a top layer, whoops, I've just dropped my sunglasses, a top layer of Whisper White, and that just lets the colour go pop a little bit more. So, what I want to do is I want to adhere this, take the lid off, Trisha, I want to adhere the matte layer first. These go beautiful together. All the colours go lovely with the basic black. I was never really into black um, black card bases, but it's grown on me. Right, now, I stamped that already, but I'm going to re-stamp with you. So this is a stamping layer. Okay. And what I need is a block. Because I want to stamp this beautiful sentiment that says... I don't know if you can see that. True friendship is one of God's greatest gifts, and I think that's absolutely stunning. Now, I just want to make sure it's all on my block. There we go. I've got other stamps on other blocks, you see, the larger ones. So, so I'm just going to dab that and sort it. It's absolutely scorching in Scotland today, over at the east coast where I am. But it's far too hot and it's making me really, really, really sleepy. So I decided to come in and make a card. Now I'm just going to pop this to the left top side of the card in black. Wow, I love it. I just, you know me, I love a good sentiment. Right, so if I just I'll leave that on there because I'm going to leave that later. Now, what we want to do is adhere this now. So... some tumble on there. Very pretty. Pretty, pretty. And you can see how the colour just pops. Lovely jovely. I'll move my ink out the way. Now what I thought I would do with my scrap pieces of black is to um, add a little banner area here and then I'm going to adhere this flower onto there. Okay, so I want it I think I'll have it that way actually, and that way it's covering over here, filling a little space. So I'll set that there like that, and I'm simply going to just add some glue. I think I'm a wee bit out of shot, sorry. 
and I just want to pop it on whatever you like, whatever's more suitable. And this measures the same as the inside bit, the stamping one. Um, what I then want to do is I want to add, I've got these pearlized doilies. I want to add one of them on there. It's a really, really nice effect. I also have the, um, oh, I keep forgetting the name, but this is one of my favourites. Yeah, what is this called again? Flax ribbon, the Whisper White flax ribbon. Now, you could actually cut sections off of this and um, it goes into a smaller baker's twine. But I want a chunky one today. So I want to just try out where this is going to sit. So that sits there. Put the ribbon over it a little bit. As long as the ribbon's covering, if I put it centre actually, and the ribbon's covering the edge in, I can then add that like so. Isn't that gorgeous? Right, so let's do that. Now, just want a little bit white glue on these big bits. Do, 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 like so. Pop it as centre as possible. You can get a little bit of scrap paper if you like. Um, you just push it down like so. Now for the ribbon, I am going to need a bit of the bud sided tape, the tearing tape. So let me get a bit of that. And we're making the two cards today. I don't know if I already said that. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just going to pop it there. Okay. I'll get my pick tool. I've taken the other end off. But I've not been using my putty um, one as much. And I, I kept um, unscrewing it by accident. So, right, let's pop that down there. I think that's pretty centre. Awesome. And this is going to go on there like that. Isn't that beautiful? Or I could put it to, I'll put it to the side slightly. Now I am going I am going to use M dimensionals for this. Um I did have them right there. Oh here they are. What a beautiful stamp set. Absolutely stunning. And I had fun using my in colour markers. Um my um what do you call them? Stamping blends rather than my ink pads. So you can see I don't have a lot of ink on my hands for a change. Right, let me pick these off. I want to kind of hold this right. Da 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 da! Come on. I'm not the quickest at this, but never mind. So I hope you've all been having a nice day. I was at work earlier. Um, and now the little one's away to a golf lesson with his dad. And the older one, Mackenzie, he's away to his football training. So there is our first card. Isn't that gorgeous? Now what I want to add on to this is um, some of these super cute, they're like pearlized, um, oh, what do you call them? Hang on. Oh my goodness, I'm wrecking, I'm wrecking the place. Right, let me see, where's the embellishments? You know me, when I forget words, it really does annoy me. So they're on page the Gingham, ba Gingham Gala Adhesive Back Sequins. Sequins, that's it. 250 in a pack, that's quite good for the price. Let's pop that away. So I want to adhere some of these onto the card just randomly. Um, I think it just adds a little bit of extra specialness. You know, I'm not much of a sequin or embellishment type of crafter. I like to keep things simple, simple, but I think that just adds a little bit of loveliness. Stunning. Does it need another one? No, I think four's plenty. So there's our first card. Isn't that gorgeous? So let me set that at the side. And the second card is very similar. However, this is going to be a landscape. Now let me move my card inserts away so I don't get them all ink. Right, let's just pop that one there so you can see it still. So I'm just going to do the exact same. 
and then I need to stamp something on here but I have my stamp at the ready so we've got lovely lipstick still one of my all time favourites stunning, stunning vibrant colour this one so I'll pop that one there and again I have a stamping there now what I need to do is stamp on this first though so the sentiment for this one is, that I've chosen, is, let me get remove this, is this one which says blessed, so blessed, and then the next one is to be your friend, isn't that fab, and again I'm stamping in black, I am, um, And then what we're going to do on the inside of the card is some just basic black stamping and then we're going to switch over the sentiments. So the sentiment on there is going to go on the inside of this one. So if I just pop that down. Absolutely stunning. Oh, I get so excited when I get a nice, a nice script stamp. Love it. Right, and the next one is um, to be your friend. Um, where should I put that? Let me just test it out. So that's going there. That was going there. Yep, so it needs to go directly under. That's fine. But I will just put it to the right slightly. So let me line that up the best I can. Ta-da! Awesome. So that's um, that one done. Right. Now I can adhere it to the card. And I'm almost hitting um, 400 subscribers on YouTube. I'm so happy. So happy that people, obviously, then... I must be doing something right if they want to come back. I do appreciate it. The only bad thing about doing a YouTube channel is that um, I don't have much time to watch my other crafty friends. Um. So, right, let's adhere this. It's just the same size black piece, like so. I love the kind of monotone. And again, I'm going to add a doily. You could do white side up, because it's white on one side and then it's pearlized on the other. So, let me just um, see how this is going to fit. I want to put the card not the card, what is it called, the rose there and the doily there. So if I just do it centre again and then I could offset that. Right, smashing, so um, if I had my roller tape, what do you call it, snail? Uh, blah, 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 what do you call the, oh god, if I had the rolling tape stuff, I would have put this on my silicon mat and run that over. But I just make do with what I have at the minute. So if I put that on there like so. That's slightly squint the double sided tape but as long as I put the flax ribbon down as straight as I can get it then I ain't worried. So you want to line it up with the, the side of your card like so. Now that looks a bit messy, but we are covering it today, so. Um, right, now, don't worry about this little space here because I have a plan. I have a plan. Right, let's get this loaded up. I'm just going to utilise some of the side parts the edging, sorry, of my dimensional pad. No point in wasting it. Right. So. Now for the footery bit. Footery, footery. Oh, I'm absolutely roasting. It's so much cooler inside though. I just cannot sit out in that heat. I've got black trousers on and it's just 
penetrating right through, making this all sweaty. I lasted about five minutes. It's different when you're abroad though, because the, the abroad heat's so much nicer than our UK weather. Right, so I'm just going to pop it kind of centre. Like so. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Now for this one, I am going to add some of the basic black gems. Now these are black rhinestone jewels. Now let me check and see if they're actually in the catalogue. I can't remember if this is a continuation item or not. I think it may be. But if it isn't, there's always alternatives. No, it isn't. It isn't. But we do have the um, the sparkly ones and all these other gorgeous embellishments. But for today, I'm going to use the black because that's what I want to use. And I think that would just make this card go pop as well. Right, so I just want to use the little um, baby ones. Oh, so I'm just going to dot them about. And look at that. Who needs your pick tool when you've got sweaty hands? Let me pop them around randomly. Do -ba -do -ba -do. Right. Oh, where did that go? Awesome! I think that'll do. I don't want to kill it too much with too much bling. And now we're going to do the insides. So we've done the two front. Now, let me tidy up ever so slightly. So, if I pop them to the side. Now, this one here is a um, up and down card, tent style. So, what I want to do is I want to stamp a rose and a couple of leaves in this corner and then a sentiment down in this right hand corner, okay? So, I'll show you what I mean in a little second. So, if I just ink up my rose, which is of a good size, so I'll just pop that in there. I then want um, black leaf. Now, if you had the time, you could colour this with the blends as well, but I want to purposefully leave it. Um, black and white. Now it doesn't matter that this is going off the card. Um, like I can see I just want it in the, in the top left corner. I might add a little bit here. Beautiful! Right, so that's that side done. So we want, um, where's the sentiment? We want blessed to be your friend okay so I'm going to do to be your friend first because that's the stamp that's on the block at the minute lovely and um, if I clean this one now I can pick this one up pop it in my ink sorry I'm off screen but I'm just going to pop that there like so. Done. So let's adhere that to the card. Absolutely stunning. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it. Right. Now, if you're watching this, you might want to keep an eye on my pages because I am going to be doing a buy one, get one free type offer. And what that involves is, um, depending on the level of spend, you will receive a free retired product. Now I'm talking stamp sets, dies, um, three quarter packs of uh, memories and more card packs, etc. So. Um, do keep an eye, there will be a minimum spend of um, £50 for a stamp set um, and £100 for a stamp set and 
the coordinating die. So £50 for a free stamp set, minimum spend, um, free stamp set or standalone dies. And then £100 for a free stamp set and the die. Um, there are some combo packs on there, um, but there's also separate ones. So you'll be able to pick, there will be a list. So it's first come, first serve in terms of um, what sets go first sort of thing. Right, so this is the first card. So we've done that. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Now, I could have stamped that in the coordinating colour, but I think that looks gorgeous. Fab, I love it, I love it. Right, now in this one, I want to put the rose in the left corner and then the sentiment in the right. So let's do the rose first because this gorgeous flower is still on my stamping block. Like so. So I'm just going to pop it. I'm going to pop it off half off the paper, which is absolutely fine. Right, so that's that done. Now I am just, as I am finished with these, I am going to put them away because I get a bit protective of my new stamps. So I do. Right now, this one, I'm simply going to stamp in the middle here. Okay. So line it up, although because you can see through these, you can often go by the eye, the raw eye. So fabulous. So I'm just going to pop that there. Isn't that beautiful? Could be outside or inside the card. These sets really are versatile. I'm sure you guys will find some inspiration to make something similar, if not better, or shape it around a wee bit, move it around even, not shape it. You know what I mean. Right. So, I just need to add the leaves now, but I'm just quickly popping my stamps, my stamps away. How many stamps is in this anyway? 13. That's good. Right. So, last one. And then I know what I'm going to do. I am going to add a pop of colour. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do in a second. But I'm looking for the leaf. I'll put my blessed one away. And I shall show you in a minute. Might not work, but I'm going to try it anyway. Right, black ink. Avenue. So I'm just going to put this one kind of there. I think I'll add a little bit there. Lovely, jovely. And I'm going to add a little bit here. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now, I want to test something before I yeah, we have a little centerpiece in this set, which I'm presuming is for the bud. So let me test this out. I have my Mango Melody to hand, and I also have my lovely lipstick. So, you know what? Yep, let's go for it. So, back to the Mango Melody card. Right, and I am just going to simply add that little pop of colour. Isn't that gorgeous? Hello, oh, see. It didn't require tremendous amount of effort, that at all. Awesome. Right, now for the lovely lipstick one. Now this will stain my stamp. But I don't care because it's the gorgeous colour. Again, I'm going to pop it on there. And that is just enough. Just enough. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a dry mouth today. Right. So, inks away. There shall be no accidents. And we're going to add these into the card. I hope um, you've enjoyed watching this. I hope you're still here at the end. 
A lot of people tend to just, um, I've done it myself to be honest, is half watch a card, remember the visual, but just watch half of it, get the measurements and the basics and then they go off and manage to uh, case it themselves, so that's fine as well. Right, now, these are just an eighth of an inch um, shorter. And there we go. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at that. And on the inside. Absolutely stunning. I just love it, love it. Right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you have this stamp set, please do give this kind of design a little go. It's just a little idea to give you some crafty inspiration. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you later.